So we are getting really close to training the logistic regression model in PyTorch. There are just a few more things I wanted to mention about the PyTorch API, which was something that will be also very relevant when we train our deep neural networks later on. So here's the general structure of how we define a model in PyTorch. And this is something we would do for any type of model, whether it's logistic regression or any of the deep neural networks we will cover later. So in fact, in PyTorch, we define models as classes. Here, our myClassifier class inherits from torch.nn.module, which will give it a certain set of properties, which will be helpful later for the model training. Then we have this init constructor where we would define the model parameters. Here, I just have a comment as a placeholder, but this is where usually our model parameters would go. Then we have this forward method where we pass in a data point x, and here we would define how the model does the predictions. So in our case, how the activation values are computed. And this is the overall framework for putting a classifier into PyTorch. Later on in the coding video, we will see how this looks like concretely for the logistic regression model. So we will actually see later how this looks like exactly for our logistic regression computation graph. Here, the focus is really on highlighting the main concepts. So now to introduce the remainder of the training API, let's suppose we implemented logistic regression in this myClassifier class. So we would then initialize our classifier as the model here. Then we would also initialize an optimizer. So here we are using stochastic gradient descent. So we say torch.optim.sgd to initialize our stochastic gradient descent optimizer. Then similar to what we have seen in the mini batch gradient descent video, we are now iterating over the training epochs. And then for each data point in the training epoch, we compute the model output and compute the loss. So here we have this training data loader, which will actually produce the mini batches for us. And we will cover this in more detail later. So after computing the loss, there are only three more steps. First, we call zero grad on the optimizer. Then we compute the gradients with dot backward. And then finally, we do the step method call, which will update the model parameters. So backward computes the gradient and step updates the model parameters. But you might wonder now, what is this zero grad method here? So zero dot grad is essentially resetting the gradients from the previous iteration. Usually, that's exactly what we want. We want to reset these gradients. We don't want to accumulate them. There are certain edge cases where we may want to consider accumulating gradients. This is a very specific and advanced use case we will cover later on. So however, remember here, by default, it's always recommended to say 0.grad before we do the backward calculation and update the model parameters with step. Now that we saw the basic training API for training neural networks in PyTorch, let's now take a look at neural network layers in PyTorch in the next video so that we can then finally implement our logistic regression model. Mm -hmm.